actually happy that the sun's out. It's, isn't it brilliant? Lovely, jubbly. Really, fa- and the people and the are rolling the barbecue. in. Oh, I know, I know. A, a friend of mine, Richie Sampson's listening. Hi, Richie. He's just uh, sent me a message. He couldn't hear my previous interview very well, which was with the chef. I've just grabbed hold of the chef who's cooking the jerk chicken. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and the rice and peas. We get to sample. You get to sample. It's fabulous. But do you know what his day job is? Fits no. bathrooms and fits tiles. <laughs> <laughs> It's a good job he's doing this on the weekend. Though. I know, I know, exactly. Right, so yes, Scar 45, seven-piece band we have. So Leon, you're the drummer. I am. And your father. Tell us about your father. Yeah, my father is uh, Oscar Harrison from Ocean Colour Scene. Wow. Um, he also plays with Rankin Roger and the Beat. Uh-huh. Um, so yes, so uh, big inspiration to myself. Yeah, and Ocean Colour Scene, they're, are they touring at the moment? Yeah, uh, they are, yes. They are touring. Um, they're doing a lot of festivals. Leon's actually. with them, touring with them. Yeah. Are you touring? Just throw that in there. I play percussion for them as well, yeah. Oh, so. fabulous. So are you doing any local gigs when um, you come to? I think the closest one, the, the well, the closest one to home is Wolverhampton, which is at the end of uh, August. Okay. Um, so yeah, it's a lot of lo- a lot of festivals. So uh, yeah, looking forward to those. Brilliant. We'll have to ask you to ask your dad if he'll come in and do an interview with us. Definitely. <laughs> okay, and we've got Steve Davis here. That's me. Hi, Steve. So you're the lead singer. I am. I do my best. Founder <laughs> of the band. <laughs> Founder of the band. Yes. Right. Yes. So when did it all begin? Well. Um, do you want the long story or the short story? How long's a long story? Well, long story's fine. <laughs> so, um, I'd never sang in a band before, ever. And I used to go to the pub, have a few beers here and there, get a bit drunk, go on karaoke. As you do. And people used to say to me, do you know what, Steve? You're not half bad at singing the reggae stuff. So, um, for some reason, I decided to look on the internet and I just saw that this uh, band was looking for a singer so I applied and there was more of a rehearsal band just to have a little bit of fun I'd done a couple of gigs with them got a bit of experience and I thought this is what I want to do so I set up on myself to set up a band and then two, year, two years later here we are here you playing are. all over lots of uh, big support slots with some bands like uh, The Beat Bad Manners with, uh, we've done The Beat twice with uh, the original vocalist Dave Wakelin we've done Bad Manners twice with uh, Buster Blood Vessel yep. we've uh, done um, uh, Roddy Radiation the original guitarist from the specials love those specials and who else have we done The Jewelers yeah The Jewelers yeah, yeah those are, those are uh, very popular band at the minute we've, uh, we've uh, and been, we yet uh, to been with support them. Uh, the Scartalites is it and on the 22nd of July, we are at um, Birmingham Digba supporting the original uh, ska band from Jamaica, the Scartalites. Oh, yes, I've heard of them. Oh, I'll have to come to that. Definitely. When was that, 22nd of July? Yeah, That's I right, think yeah. it is, off yeah. the top of my head. Okay, okay. 21st, 22nd, one of the three. It's yeah. a Sunday. Sunday. Yeah, so we can't drink too much. <laughs> <laughs> can, you, can you drink here tonight? Well, um, I, I haven't had any yet. Have you not? I think there's some <laughs> yeah, rum. I think there's he, some rum around. We had a heavy night last night. Yeah, uh, it wasn't heavy. It was a late one. Yeah, we was in Rochdale last night. So oh yeah. gosh, we didn't go back till five this morning. <gasps> so we've had about two hours sleep. Oh, we well look and, uh, wide awake to me. Well, that's, I think that's the beer. <laughs> <laughs> is that the adrenaline yeah, kicking is, in? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, do you do any original stuff, or it's just um, covers no, that you're doing? We thought about doing originals, but um, that's not. It's not me. You know, I'm happy to, to, to do covers. Yeah. I, I, you know, I like to sing the songs that I know and that yeah. other people know. I know Agreed. I'm going to get a response, going to get an atmosphere. So it's good to see people singing along. I think also it's nice for the, you know, the mature generation, the older generation to uh, relive their youth as, in a sense. Do you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, I, I mean, agree. it's not every day that everyone gets to go out and see the band that they liked when they was growing up. No. You know, ticket prices are high. Do you know what I mean? So if they can go out and see a good cover band and enjoy the night and, you know, they're coming up to you at the end of the night saying they really enjoyed that, you're a good band and, sure. you know, they're singing along, uh, you know, I think there's, there's no harm in that. I've, no. I've, I've, I think it's absolutely brilliant. No. Well, it's exactly. It's also a bit like the tribute thing that's going on at the moment. You know, all the tribute bands. I mean, we were talking to, to Laura earlier that was on the stage. Yeah, um, the Amy Winehouse. The Amy tribute, Winehouse. Yeah. That's, that, I, I hadn't heard of tribute acts like they are now yeah. sort of 10 years ago it seems to be the in thing doesn't it so yeah definitely and I'd like to mention about us um, what people tend to like about us is that we are actually the, the youngest band in the UK that 
that plays two tone ska covers. Are you? you tend, because you know it's music from the late seventies, so you, you generally tend to find that people in uh, similar bands to us are in their fifties and sixties. Yeah. And, and we are, you know, in our twenties, so we attract a younger crowd, and you know we try and continue to spread that same message. That was what was you know trying to be spread in the seventies. Exactly. I think also people are shocked when they see a young band. They turn up to a gig and they see a young band playing ska music. You weren't born when this music was out. Yeah, yeah. and actually, I don't think people realise how hard it is to play ska and reggae. It's the ska, it's it's some of the songs not, that we play. Yeah. It's so fast. Yeah. It's and it's so all fast. kind of on the offbeat, isn't it? Oh, and, yeah. and people just, they think it sounds easy to be able to do, but Definitely. it's not. You can't do it on a full stomach. No. <laughs> <laughs> so who else is in your band performing tonight? So there's seven, seven of us all together. Right. We've got Helen on trombone. Oh. Um, we've got Josh on the saxophone. Uh, Luke on the bass guitar. Lewis on the lead guitar. And Denise on the keyboards. Wow. Is that everyone? Apart from you, Lee, to me. Yeah, I'm yeah. You too. <laughs> nice to have two females in the band That's as well. It. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So what's your set list looking like tonight? Well, I haven't planned one. What? We're, we're going to get on stage and whatever I tell them to play, they'll play. <laughs> well, that's very chilled I would, out. Yeah. I, I would imagine it would be very upbeat. Yeah. I, I would imagine it would be very upbeat. Yeah. yeah. We've, so. we've recently learned a track called Man at CNA by The Specials, which is at the minute it's my, one of my favourites to play. It's, uh, it's very good. It's, it's got some good chilled reggae vibes to it as well. It's a good one. It tends to go down really well. Lots of songs by The Beat, obviously, with, yeah. with having Leon's dad. You know, we like to... Copy the beat songs because we play them just as you hear them as well, close yeah. to the original, which is good. If people, people like, yeah. Steve's <laughs> very, uh, Steve's very regimental on that. He doesn't like us to do our style. He wants us. I like to, to play it how you how know it. it is. Yeah. So, exactly. which I think that defines us as a band as well. You know, sure. we play it as it's meant to be heard. So. And you seriously haven't planned what you're doing when he gets on stage? No, <laughs> really. No, <laughs> I'm shocked. No, you know, sometimes it's more fun that way. It is. Because you don't know what's coming. You never know Fine. what you know what's what kind of audience is here until you get here. So I could plan a set list and look at the crowd and think that's probably not going to go down very well. True. And then but I could you know uh, yeah. get on stage if it, you know maybe if it's if there's lots of people in their seventies and eighties that probably can't dance as quick. We're not going to play really really fast songs that they're going to struggle <laughs> to dance to. So <laughs> I'm impressed. Actually, I've never met a band that don't plan the set list. We, we do That's normally. Great. It's just a bit organi- oh, organised today. It's the late night, <laughs> isn't it? We're just trying to call it out. Oh, we see. Yeah. Oh, well. So what are you going to do now? How long have you got before you're on stage? Uh, well, we're going to get food, aren't we? Yeah, just yeah, under an hour. Yeah. really nice. Um, we've got to find so the rest of our band make sure from last here. night. Yeah. <laughs> But don't eat too much if you're dancing around. Oh, I know, yeah. <laughs> I'm already hiding my belly with my bag. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's really great meeting you. Thank you, and Thank you, you too. Very Thank much. you for uh, for sparing your time Cheers. to be with us at Solihull no Radio. Good luck. We're going to come out and listen to this because we'll be finished then. Thank you very much. And uh, go and get some food. Thank you very much. All right. Thank Cheers, Cheers bye guys. Bye. Thank bye you bye. so much. Bye. Okay, we're going to have uh, some music now. A local lady from Birmingham. Ruby Turner and the Jules Holland Band. This is The Informer. It's not their own. 
that's Ruby Turner and Jules Holland. Absolutely love that track. Okay, another piece of music here by Fifth Harmony. This is worth it. Give it to me. She loves some. Bring it, bring it back like she loves some. Uh, in the club with the lights off, but you act a shy fog. Come and show me that you're with it, with it, with it, with it, with it. With it. Stop playing, how you know that I'm with it, with it, with it, with it, with it, with it. What you act a shy fog? Just give me you, just give me you, just give me you. That's all I wanna do. And if what they say is true, if it's true, I'ma give it to you. I'ma take a lot of stuff, guaranteed. You bluff, hurry up, I'm working now from Uh-huh, you see me in the spotlight, ooh, whatever your sound Uh-huh, show me what you got, cause I don't wanna waste my time Uh-huh, see me in the spotlight, ooh, whatever your sound Uh-huh, show me what you got now, come and make it worth my while Give it to me, I'm It's all on you, so what you wanna do? And if you don't have a clue, not a clue, I'll tell you what to do. Come harder just because I don't like it, like it too soft. I like it a little rough, not too much, but maybe just enough. Like she loves some. Bring it, bring it back. Like she loves some. Uh, in the club with the lights off. Could you act a shy fog? Come and show me that you're with it, with it, with it, with it, with it. With it. Stop playing, how you know that I'm with it, with it, with it, with it, with it, with it. But you act a shy fog. harmony and worth it and this is imagine dragons first things first i'm gonna say all the words inside my head i'm fired up and tired of the way that things have been oh From a young age, taking my soak into the masses, writing my poems for the few that look at me, took at me, shook at me, killing me, singing from heartache, from the pain, taking my message from the veins, speaking my lesson from the brain, seeing the beauty through the... Believe it, believe 
a dove, oh, oh, your spirit up above, oh, oh, I was choking in the crowd, building my brain up in the cloud, falling like ashes to the ground, hoping my feelings, they would drown, but they never did, ever lived, ever and flowing, inhibited, limited, till it broke up when it rained down. was Believer. Um, we've got some songs coming up, a few more songs before the end of the show, but I just wanted to tell you briefly about a talent competition that you can get involved with. Um, it's actually on September the 23rd and it's called Reach for the Stars and it gives you the fantastic opportunity of being able to perform live at Symphony Hall, that prestigious venue in Birmingham. All you have to do is uh, just give us a call. Um, you can call the lady, it's called Lorraine on 07968 950 or you can send an email to onstagenext at gmail. Dot com. That's onstagenext at gmail.com. So if you can sing, dance or play a musical instrument and you would like the opportunity to perform at Symphony Hall, then enter this competition. OK, what have we got coming up next? Another piece of music? Can do. Yeah. Or Ooh, can hi I tell Jeff. you about you're the back. amazing curried goat I'm currently eating? Oh, you, you're trying it. I'm trying it. I've gone with a curried goat. I, I, on the flip side, I do have a uh, black coffee with me as well. Right, okay. Just and in what, case. what's it like? Curry goat is absolutely amazing. Is it? Does it taste like another, any other piece of meat? Go for it. Curry goat. Ready? This is happening in live time, everybody. Lamb. Go for it. Curry goat. Ooh. It's actually all right, Ooh, isn't it? Oh, it's nice. It's a bit like lamb, don't you think? It is. Mm. I think I think goat. it's just the word that put me off. Yeah. You know. Right, it skipped while you were gone for your current goat. Yeah, sorry about that, everybody. <laughs> I couldn't reach over with yeah. the mouse, and it's just skipped a track. So, so what would you like next? Could I have? <laughs> I won't give up. I won't give up. I'm by eating. Jason, sorry, J- uh, Jason Mraz. Yes, please, no Jason Mraz. Thank you. How about some of that? into your eyes It's like watching the night sky Or a beautiful sunrise Well, there's so much they hold And just like them old stars I see that you've come so far To be right where you are How old is your soul? Well, I won't give up on us Even if the skies get rough I'm giving you all my love I'm still looking up 
your need in your space To do some navigating I'll be here patiently waiting To see what you find Even the stars they burn Some even fall to the earth We got a lot to learn God knows we're worth it No, I won't give up I don't want to be someone who won't So way so easily I'm here to stay and make the difference that I can make Our differences they do a lot to teach us how to use the tools and gifts we got here yeah, we got a lot at stake And in the end you're still my friend at least we did intend for us to work we didn't break we didn't burn We had to learn how to bend without the world. Caving in, I had to learn what I got and what I'm not and who I am. I won't give up all us, even if the skies get rough. I'm giving you all my love. I'm still looking up, I'm still looking That was Jason Mraz. Uh, still to come, I've got some Ollie Murr, some Bruno Mars, Madness, Aston Merigold and some Robin Thicke a little bit later on. And, uh, and then we'll be going out to have a listen to the live band that's uh, coming up that we interviewed a little while earlier. Now, who's just wandered in? <laughs> Hello. Hello. We have got Ruth and little Gracie. Hello, Gracie. Hello, very close, very close. No, she's, no. No. She's gone shy. All of a sudden, she's gone shy. (laughs) Ruth, hello, how are you? How are you? Yeah, very, very good. We're um, we're having a a little poodle around a camber. Uh, having a listen to a few bands, not having the goat curry, I have to say, because I'm a vegetarian. Um, but you? it does sm- it smells nice. It, yeah, yeah, I was a bit, you know, th- it's just that word, like I said, I think, isn't it? Goat, goat. curry. But mm. actually, it's quite nice. Well, it's kind of all the rage, really. It's because you can make it really succulent and put lots of spices in with it and get lots of got, get lots of flavour with it. Yeah, so, exactly. So it's one of the, I've been a vegetarian, though, since I was six. So for yeah. me, it's just... yeah. You know, that's quite young to become. What what made you at that age become a ve- oh, vegetarian? Were your parents? I don't close your ears, Gracie. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, uh, some little baby lambs going into the back of a butcher's. Oh no. Yeah, oh, yeah. No. So uh, I was um, very, very influenced um, yeah. at a very early age. So, yeah. so I, I could quite easily be. I don't <laughs> eat an awful lot of meat, but but there it's, you go. it's it's an amazing thing. And I mean, I've recently gone vegan as well. So. Oh, gosh. Um, so it's supermarkets are really coming on board with it. A yeah. lot of a lot of places are. So yeah. it's becoming really easy to eat vegan. Um, although you know, still you go out to lots of places and it's like, where's the food? I can't eat anything. <laughs> <laughs> but that's mainly for health more than anything because you know, exactly just the way it is sometimes. Exactly. So. But you, so you've just come down here today with Gracie to have a look around, listen to the yeah. music, get some food, having a little look around. Um, and, and you're going to be helping Solly Hall Radio, yeah, aren't you? Yeah, of course. So you're yeah. going to be doing the PR and... Yeah, doing a bit, um, helping out where I can. Um, Brilliant. I've got my own PR business, um, so um, I've been in the business for 17 years, so uh, Jeff asked me to help out, so yeah, doing a little bit here I was and there. just, just going to say do. there, Ruth, if I could just interject, if anyone out there is listening and you read our Facebook pages and our social media pages, 
Um, Ruth and uh, a, f- a lovely uh, lady called Emily um, really work very hard on our social media. So if you have been following our fo- uh, social media feeds, Ruth is the lady that heads up. <laughs> You're too up, nice. Um, <laughs> all of our posts and uh, and our branding for social uh, social radio. So thank you very much, Ruth. Thank That's you. a pleasure. Brilliant. <laughs> so what have you got planned, Ruth? So what have I got planned? I've got a busy week actually. Well, we've got um, obviously here tonight, but I'm taking you home soon to bed, to my little oh, yeah. seven-year-old. Oh, yeah. um, and we've got forest school tomorrow, so we've got to get you um, home. We've got four dates forest school. Um, Put the microphone in front of you. Also, That's it. And also we've... Um, what do you think we're going to be doing at forest school, Gracie? Uh, we're going to be building dens and toast, toasting things around the campfire. Ooh, yeah. sounds exciting. So great, Gracie's at Woodlands School, which is just around the corner from here. Um, okay. Probably one of the places, schools. So they've, they're very much forest school ethos. So they've got a little patch in Bill's Wood and we go out there and... and um, do all sorts of things as, as parents um, and supporters of the school and uh, we've just created a forest school in in the actual school itself as well we've we've taken over a piece of land and we've been um, we've been doing doing that up so um, thank you to Earlswood Garden Centre who's just been helping out with that um, and to home base um, you know lots of lots of businesses like to come on board and support schools um, particularly with that ethos where they you know kids love to be outdoors and they love to learn outdoors and Gracie has le- got so much from being outdoors she loves it anyway but just lessons and learning just becomes so much more fun and um so it's a great thing so it's a great little school so uh, we've got a busy week haven't we my my favorite lesson um in school is probably either um history history geography or my favorite thing to do is probably independent learning is Mm. it you're a very good drawer aren't you gracie are you You've had your face, you've had the glitter done, haven't you, Gracie? Yeah? Yeah, you're very artistic. Very like creative. creative. Um, and you like to sing. Ooh. And we've also... Um, what else do you like? You like being outdoors as well. That's yeah. kind of a key thing of your thing. And climbing and running. You're a super runner, aren't well, you? Once, once we got to, t- we went to this camp. We went to this campsite. Um, and don't we, embarrass mummy. What are you doing, Gracie? There was this, there was this <laughs> huge climbing wall, and we didn't climb up that. We went inside to climb up the little ones. But we first we had to practice on the little walls before we went to the higher walls. Yeah. And then the next day, I had to get a kind of like a harness done because we did the big one. Did you? Inside, not outside. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> you do like a good climb. Stop. Wonderful. But it's, it's so it's so good that kids go outside. They've got so many opportunities to to go and climb and get outdoors and and just experience things um, like yeah. we didn't do when we were kids. No, it's we amazing. didn't. We didn't. We just had. The, I think we had like an hour once a week or something when they made you run around the field, which I hated. Mm. I was in the netball team, mm. things like that. But other than that, no, we were, you were just in your classroom, weren't you? And yeah, you were. What do you think about this this um, this running thing that a lot of schools do now? So they spend five minutes in the day do a little lap around the school and you know it's apparently encouraging kids to just be incredible at their schoolwork. you know it's just sure. bringing things out of kids that, that they haven't seen before it works it does, um, it does work it. it's called fitness flash so if you're out there it's called fitness flash we do um, in my other role we do fitness flash once a day um, between 2 and 207 <laughs> sleepy time Precisely. sleepy time <laughs> so 207 <laughs> we do uh, two laps around the field and then we're back straight in, straight back onto. We just stop what we're doing, yep. head straight out, big walk, straight back in. Well, not necessarily a walk. Some of them absolutely tear around. Yeah, yeah. And uh, it's really good for them. And uh, it is. It's a brilliant thing. We we'll just we we'll just call it out. We we'll just call fitness flash, and let's go. And off they go. And there's so much more sorted right up until the three o'clock. Yeah. When we finish for uh, reading yeah, yeah. and things like that. Have you actually seen a real marks kind of difference? Absolutely. It really does help. Mm. And, it, and it breaks up that afternoon learning mm. session as well. Um, w- when, when you know uh, that you've got that time. And uh, some of the kids are really looking forward to it. So, so it is that it getting it some up. fresh air and just fresh air, bit of movement. off the a bit of steam. It's the adrenaline and yeah. it's, uh, yeah. you know, it's the endorphins, it, it? it gives you a sensory diet as well. So your sensory diet changes rather than sitting there. You can then take the air, take the... Um, I- and you talk to different people for five minutes and then you come back and you're fresh. Mm. Thank you very much. There you go. So <laughs> oh, Gracie wants to go on again. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about running around the school in the day, 
Do you feel as though it wakes your brain up? Um, yeah, sometimes, but sometimes after I do it, uh, I would probably think the fastest boy in the school. Me. <laughs> is it Jeff? In Woodlands, <laughs> in Woodlands, it's probably out of Michael, Lucas, or <laughs> Dawson. I Michael Lucas or Dawson? We need to set up a race. <laughs> we certainly do. We certainly do. Okay, so Ruth, we're going to go to some music. Okay. We've got Jeff poised. Have we got the monkeys? Uh, we might have. Daydream Believer? Um, this, That's the Seven, one. Eight. There you go. Okay, I'm really not excited, man. It's because I'm sure. Could hide beneath the wings of the bluebird as she sings. The six o'clock alarm would never ring, but it rings and I rise, wipe the sleep out of my eyes. My shaven razor's cold and it stings. Now you know how happy I can be Oh, and a good time starts and then Without dollar one to spend But how much, baby, do you There we go, that was the monkeys. We've got two or three tracks before the end of the show, but we're just going to have a little chat because Duncan has joined us. Hi, Duncan. Hello, everyone. Hello. And uh, it's nice to be here on this absolutely gorgeous afternoon, beautiful day. Perfect. And, uh, and it's nice to see this setup that Jeff's done. It's just <laughs> outs- quite outstanding. And, and it does all work because I was listening to it earlier on, so it's, it's pretty good. Uh, so I'm, I'm glad impressed. to hear that. Yes. <laughs> uh, so I'm Duncan, and uh, my uh, my show is on a Monday night from six till eight, and uh, I play soul and gospel and uh, songs from the American songbook, standards of a variety of types, uh, including most from uh, Ella Fitzgerald, from uh, uh, anybody, Louis Armstrong, uh, Frank Sinatra, and things. Uh, of that nature and that ilk, and uh, not not ignoring, of course, people like Nora and jo- Nora Jones and and and, uh, and Diana Crowell and uh, and more modern uh, singers. Absolutely, and uh, I can can I personally vouch for his show on a Monday evening? Uh, I come back from my uh, my the work that I do during the day, and I sit down and listen to Duncan's show on uh, Monday six to eight, and uh, it, it really does help. That's very kind, Jeff. Thank you very much. I'm very glad you're soothing, it. isn't it? Is that that's your obviously your favourite kind of music? That sort of you know that that the rap pack and you like all that kind of music as well. Yes, yes, and probably leaning towards uh, sort of um, 
maybe a little bit of gospel and jazz funk and things like that and not too not too seriously one thing and i do like to no. mix and match and this monday night is my spectacular this monday night is going to be the glory of gershwin uh, ah. and i'm going to try and play a huge variety of different people singing gershwin songs uh contemporary uh i've got peter gabriel uh, i've got kate bush um and uh and of course a lot of fella uh, Fitzgerald and, and uh, I think I've also got um, uh, little Jim, Jimmy Scott, people like that. I love Jimmy Scott. He's just my favourite singer of all time. Of course, this is all hearsay. And of course. Do you know why? Because I've just bumped into Duncan whilst we were walking around the camera. We are here in a camera, by the way. We are broadcasting live as an outside broadcast here from a camera down to the last uh, couple of hours now of a weekend festival. Um, I just bumped into Duncan, and the first thing he said to me was, Jeff, I haven't written my playlist for my show tomorrow night. <laughs> oh, your this secret's out. This is entirely true, <laughs> but I do have a pile of CDs, uh, and I have actually got some post-it notes stuck on them. I haven't written anything on them yet, but uh, well, I'm on the case, so Duncan, I'm there. the band we were just talking to that are going on and doing the, the, the headline act tonight, they yeah. don't even know what they're playing until they get up there. That's really unusual. So, yeah, they've not written their set list yet. Well, I'm not quite that bad. I've got a pretty good <laughs> idea. Um, and and I'm, I must say that sneakily I do have... Uh, I've got a live recording of George Gershwin playing Gershwin tunes. So that makes life very easy because if I get stuck, uh, there's some really nice little sort of two and three minute tracks on there that I'll fill in with. Great stuff. We must say a really big thank you uh, to our hosts here at Acamba over the last... 48 hours, they've been amazing uh, uh, accommodating our radio station, our first live outside broadcast. We've learnt a lot. Uh, day two sound hopefully is better than day one sound. Maybe uh, people will let us know about that. Um, send us a tweet or uh, send us an email because that's the easiest way to get hold of us here. There's no signals where we are currently. So uh, <laughs> let us know if, uh, if you've enjoyed some of our outside broadcasts this uh, weekend. Um, we're going to play a couple of tracks now just to take us up to the hour. Uh, it's now uh, seven minutes to six here on Sunday evening. Lee, have you enjoyed your show? Absolutely brilliant. Yep. really love it here, actually. It's, it's a lovely vibe, isn't it? It's great. It's just, it w had it have been raining, I think it would have been very, very different. Very different. Which you know? is just absolutely perfect, this, yeah. getting this weather. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. And, uh, and the place is so, so interesting. It's a lovely really place unusual. to walk around. And, uh, and the bands all sound really good to me. It's great. I think, uh, I think the last couple of bands are getting ready. We've got the Amy Winehouse and we've got, uh, we've got, and we've got Scar, Scar 45. 45. So uh, what we're going to finish with, let's have some Bruno Mars. Let's have Young perfect. Girls. Is that okay? Perfect. Spend all my money Bought a big old fancy car For these bright-eyed honeys Oh yeah, you know who you are Keep me up till the sun is high Till the birds start calling my name I'm addicted and I don't know why Guess I've always been Yeah. 
go we've come to the end of the show this evening just like to thank you all very very much for tuning in thank you for listening thank you for joining us here live at our first out uh, broadcast here at the Acamba venue it's been fantastic we'd like to thank the hosts um, and also just yeah it's been a really great event great two days hope you've enjoyed it um, and stick with Solihull Radio we are online and on demand tomorrow night Duncan will be here six till eight o'clock Tuesday night will be Jeff and Wednesday Nick and that's just the beginning of the week so have a great week um, stay well and I'll hit I'll see you very soon we're going to finish off with an upbeat track Ollie Mers and dance with you tonight hey, ladies and gentlemen we've got a special treat for you today I'm gonna call my friend Ali up here to